Hi, we're on day 10 of our 21 days of reading through Mark's Gospel, and today we're looking at Mark chapter 7. The Pharisees and some of the teachers of the law who'd come from Jerusalem gathered round Jesus and saw some of his disciples eating food with hands that were defiled, that is, unwashed. The Pharisees and all the Jews do not eat unless they give their hands a ceremonial washing, holding to the tradition of the elders. When they came from the marketplace, they do not eat unless they wash, and they observe many other traditions, such as the washing of cups, pitchers, and kettles. So the Pharisees and teachers of the law asked Jesus, why don't your disciples live according to the tradition of the elders instead of eating their food with defiled hands? He replied, Isaiah was right when he prophesied about you hypocrites, as it is written, these people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. They worship me in vain, their teachings are merely human rules. You've let go of the commands of God and are holding on to human traditions. And he continued, you have a fine way of setting aside the commands of God in order to observe your own traditions. For Moses said, honor your father and mother, and anyone who curses their father or mother is to be put to death. But you say that if anyone declares that what might have been used to help their father or mother is Corban, that is devoted to God, then you no longer let them do anything for their father or mother. Thus you nullify the word of God by your tradition that you have handed down, and you do many things like that. Again, Jesus called the crowd to him and said, Listen to me, everyone, and understand this. Nothing outside a person can defile them by going into them. Rather, it is what comes out of a person that defiles them. After he'd left the crowd and entered the house, his disciples asked him about this parable. Are you so dull, he asked. Don't you see that nothing that enters a person from the outside can defile them? For it doesn't go into their heart, but into their stomach and then out of the body. In saying this, Jesus declared all foods clean. He went on, what comes out of a person is what defiles them. For it is from within, out of a person's heart, that evil thoughts come, sexual immoral, immorality, theft, murder, adultery, greed, malice, deceit, lewdness, envy, slander, arrogance and folly. All these evils come from inside and defile a person. Jesus left that place and went to the vicinity of Tyre. He entered a house and did not want anyone to know it yet he could not keep his present secret. In fact, as soon as she heard about him, a woman whose little daughter was possessed by an impure spirit came and fell at his feet. The woman was a Greek born in Syrian Phoenicia. She begged Jesus to drive the demon out of her daughter. First, let the children eat all they want, he told her, for it's not right to take the children's bread and toss it to the dogs. Lord, she replied, even the dogs under the table eat the children's crumbs. Then he told her, for such a reply, you may go. The demon has left your daughter. She went home and found a child lying on the bed and the demon had gone. Then Jesus left the vicinity of Tyre and went through Sidon down to the Sea of Galilee and into the region of the Decapolis. There some people brought to him a man who was deaf and could hardly talk and they begged Jesus to place his hand on him. After he took him aside away from the crowd, Jesus put his fingers into the man's ears. Then he spat and touched the man's tongue. He looked up to heaven and with a deep sigh said to him, a father, which means be opened. At this, the man's ears were opened, his tongue was loosed and he began to speak plainly. Jesus commanded them not to tell anyone, but the more he did so, the more people kept talking about it. People were overwhelmed with amazement. He's done everything well, they said. He even makes the deaf hear and the mute speak. What struck me as I was reading that passage was the bit where Jesus talks about what makes us clean and what makes us unclean. And so often we think, when we think about that, we do think about things that are external to us, like maybe the things that we eat or the things that we don't eat. But actually Jesus focuses us on the heart and the fact that the heart is the wellspring of life, as it tells us in Proverbs chapter 4. So we need to guard our hearts. And as we're going through these 21 days, why don't we present our hearts afresh to Jesus this morning? Maybe there's someone that actually you're angry with right now. Maybe there's someone you need to release and forgive. 
Maybe there's somebody that you're jealous of at the moment. Maybe there's a, another sort of heart issue that for you is affecting you from being able to live in God's peace. Why don't we at the start of this day present our hearts afresh to God? Why don't we ask him to cleanse them? You know, David speaks in Psalm uh, 51 about purifying his heart and uh, asking God to create in him again a clean heart and a willing spirit. So let's pray that God will cleanse our hearts and that today we might live from a place of purity so our outer behaviour then flows and we might be a blessing to those that are around us. So let's just pray. Lord Jesus, thank you that you don't look at the outward appearance, but you look at the heart. And in these moments, Lord, we just want to take, uh, Lord, a little bit of time just to present our hearts afresh to you. And Lord, in a moment's silence, we just want to hear, Lord. We want to own what's going on in our own hearts. Lord, I pray today, Lord, you will help us to forgive those we need to forgive. I pray that you'll help us to let go of the things that we need to let go. And Lord, we echo the prayer of David and we ask, Lord, that you will create in us a clean heart. Lord, would you wash us from the inside out? And I pray today that our words and our actions might speak the love of Jesus into the world around us because we start with a pure heart, clean in your sight. May you be a blessing today to those around you. God bless you.